Hello, it's Steve again, and we're going to talk about the Acaso V50X yet again. Today we're going to find out what's up with the audio in this thing. If you saw my last test footage in 4K for this little camera, the test footage all looked great, but the audio was horrible on our audio test. And I've read other reviews and seen other reviews on YouTube where they indicate similar results, that the audio is bad. Uh, and so I decided to investigate a little further, and we're going to do a few tests today. And to that end, I've purchased from Acaso the recommended microphone specifically made for the V50X. So we're going to try some tests uh, with the built-in microphone, which is on the top of the camera, the little holes right there. And then we're going to try some tests with the external microphone, and just for comparison, I'll do some audio on my cell phone as well, and we'll see which one works best. Now, this little Acaso microphone is fairly primitive. It doesn't have a hot shoe mount. It just has this little alligator clip. Uh, also, the mount appears to be fixed to the microphone itself, so any vibration noise is going to go right through to the microphone. It's got a micro USB that plugs in right there, so I think we're good to go. Let's go test this out. I'm going to move out to my garage where I've got a little more space and we'll try a few things out there now. Okay, so we're out here in my garage. I'm about four feet from my Canon 6D, which, which is what we're recording this video on, and the audio that you're hearing is from the Canon 6D microphone. And over here on the tripod, I've got my cell phone mounted in the Lunzi video rig. You can see my previous videos for more info on that. But I'm going to do the first test with my cell phone and its built-in normal microphone. And the distance from me to the phone is between three and four feet. So let's find out how that sounds first. So I'm now speaking to the Pixel 2 cell phone from a distance of about four feet. There's no external microphone. This is just the normal built-in cell phone microphone. And this is what it sounds like. Okay, so let's do another test. Okay, so we're ready for test number two. Now this test, I've got the Acaso V50X mounted in the Ulanzi video rig on the tripod. I'm not using the external microphone, so we're just gonna see what the native audio from the built-in microphone sounds like. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, we're now speaking to the microphone on the Acaso V50X from a distance of about four feet talking in my normal voice. This is what the audio sounds like. Okay, so we're ready for test number three. And in this test, I have the Acaso V50X still in the Lanzi video rig on the tripod. But this time, I've added the external microphone from Acaso. It's plugged into the camera. It's set to external audio. So let's find out if that improves things. Okay, I'm now speaking to the external microphone on the V50X in my normal voice from a distance of about four feet. So this is what it sounds like. Okay, so let's do one more test just to see what happens. It's the same as the last one. I've got the V50X on the tripod. I've got the external Acaso microphone plugged in, and what we're going to do is move closer. I'm going to speak to it from two feet away, and we'll see how that sounds. So I'm now about two feet away from the microphone. Let's, let's test it out. Okay, I'm two feet from the Acaso V50X microphone. This is the external microphone. I'm speaking in my normal voice, and this is what it sounds like. Well, what did we learn from that? I was expecting the audio to be bad with the in-camera microphone, but I was really surprised that it was still pretty bad even with the external microphone from both four feet and two feet. Um, I, I don't know what to make of that except this thing just has bad audio. 
I'm tempted to try one more experiment. What if we use an editing program to normalize the audio after the fact? Uh, I'm going to play those same three clips again. The in-camera microphone, external from four feet, and external from two feet. But this time I'm going to apply an audio normalization algorithm and we'll see if that improves it or not. Okay, we are now speaking to the microphone on the Acaso V50X from a distance of about four feet, talking in my normal voice. This is what the audio sounds like. Okay, I'm now speaking to the external microphone on the V50X in my normal voice from a distance of about four feet. So, this is what it sounds like. Okay, I'm two feet from the Acaso V50X microphone. This is the external microphone. I'm speaking in my normal voice, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, I don't know about you, but to my ear, that still sounded bad. Um, the uh, normalization algorithm boosted the in-camera microphone audio. It looked like by almost 400%. Uh, the external microphone, uh, the normalization algorithm was boosting that by approximately 200% to get it up to uh, just normal audio levels. Uh, but the result just did not sound acceptable by any stretch of the imagination. The audio had no high end, it was garbled, I could barely understand it. Uh, so the only conclusion I can come to is that the audio is just really bad on this thing. Uh, the upside is that the video is excellent and if you need a very inexpensive camera for great 4K video, which is what I need for my application, this thing is still a great buy. Uh, but if you need good audio, if you're trying to use this as your primary camera for doing a, a blog, for example, I think this just would not be acceptable. Um, and I, if I had a recommendation for a Casso, uh, I think it would be that they need to build one of these things for their cameras. Uh, this little device is something I use on my cell phone if I need to use an external microphone. It has a little USB-C connector that goes into the phone, and then on this end are just standard microphone connectors like a DSLR would use, such as the one I'm shooting on now and you can plug any kind of microphone into one of these from a $200 shotgun mic to uh, just a $10 lavalier mic. You can plug anything you want in, uh, this converts it to digital, it goes in the USB-C, the cell phone will just use it normally. And I think if Acaso made one of these little adapters for the micro USB that's on all their cameras, uh, perhaps a firmware in there that would work with all their different models, uh, then they wouldn't have to make a custom microphone for each camera. Then you could just buy any kind of microphone that works for your application, plug it into the adapter, plug the adapter into the camera, and hopefully have great audio. Uh, I doubt Acaso is watching my video, but uh, if they are, please do that, guys. That would be great. Uh, and. Uh, I do have some cool time-lapse footage from the uh, V50X coming up, so stay tuned for that. Uh, it takes a long time to get good uh, time-lapse shots, so it'll probably be next week before that shows up. And I hope this video wasn't too boring, but a lot of people have been interested in the audio, including me, so it's uh, good to know how that works. And uh, please do click on that little subscribe button down there, that'll help me out a lot. Thank you.